Hi guys! This is my tutorial for an American flag inspired geo tumbler. Just like we've done previously, we need to map out where we want our geode sections to be. I'll be using an old Cricut Silver pen, but you can also use a pencil. For our navy blue section, I'll be using the epoxy method and then using Mod Podge for the other sections. Like we learned last week, you can use epoxy on just one section of a cup. Just be sure to put your cup on your spinner when you're finished adding the epoxy, especially if you use a little more epoxy to help you blend your navy colors. I personally like to use medicine cups to create my ombres, but I've seen many tumbler makers use tea strainers with gorgeous results. You also don't have to use two colors of blue here, but one way I personally like to make my cup stand out is adding extra dimension wherever I can. One way you can do this is with your glitter colors. Instead of using one color for a flat look, use two or three similar colors to add some depth and dimension. It will give a subtle yet gorgeous effect. Let your navy section cure, and then we can add the rest of our glitters using Mod Podge.
For the inked section, I'll be diluting the ink and alcohol and dripping it directly onto the tumbler for the darker center. I'll be starting on the outside and working my way in. Let your glitter layer dry for 24 to 48 hours and seal with Krylon Triple Thick. Spray it really well so your inks don't run. When your tumbler is completely dry, we'll be ready for our first coat of epoxy. To give it some more interest, I decided to add some white chunky glitter. I kept from adding it in the center and remained on the outer three sections, but you can add it anywhere you like, or not at all. Let this layer cure, then add another layer to seal your chunky glitter, and we'll be ready to add our stars.
have your stars where you like, use an X-Acto knife to remove any of the overlay from the stars into the white. Try to stay as close to the edge of the navy section as possible. If you mess up and cut too much, no worries, we can cover it with our paint pen on the next step. When you're all done, it's time to seal our stars. To add some sparkle to my stars, I added Cullen, an epoxy additive from Feather Bear Bling. Let this layer cure, and then we'll be ready to add our lines. Adding a decal to this tumbler, but if you'd like to, seal your lines, add your decal, and seal with another coat of epoxy. Let cure, and you'll be all done. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your American flag-inspired geo tumblers, and I'll see you again next time.